premium leveling pass of throne and liberty will cost you 500 lucent so this is kind of interesting thing because beside battle pass what we currently have in the game right beside this battle pass which also cost 500 lucent in the cash shop you will notice this item here premium leveling pass same price like battle pass but different rewards and different system so what is actually this premium leveling pass and how to use it in your advantage you'll find out here in today's video before we start let me just say subscribe to my youtube channel to see more of throne and liberty videos in the future as you can see i'm waiting here in the game in the cash shop during early access but don't worry also for global release of the game from october 1st you will see this same user interface price will be the same 500 lucent for battle pass and 500 lucent for leveling pass regarding battle pass i already have dedicated video on my youtube channel where i explain everything check that video on my youtube channel is it worth buying or not it is it is just in general just to let you know yes it is worth to buy it will not give you some big advantage but it will push you a little bit during your leveling process and in general in your first gameplay hours of gameplay of throne and liberty now regarding premium leveling pass what is this let me show you that in a second so you can buy it also for 500 lucent and let's go here on this part of the user interface where we have leveling log now as you level up, you're getting different kind of rewards within this leveling log in the upper part. You can see these rewards. However, you will notice that the lower part here is locked. This is how you unlock, right, this leveling premium pass. You need to buy for 500 lucent. Is it worth? Let's find out. Because with each level, as you level up, you get different rewards. You will notice here in the upper part of the pass, rewards are actually not that great. Look, free rewards are so-so, right? But paid rewards for 500 Lucent, let's see. So on level one, Enchantment Stone. Only one, little amount, but okay. Again, Enchantment Stone, this time for armor. In the meanwhile, in a free part, right? So-so of leveling log. Accessory, again, Enchantment Stone, only one. So these rewards, these Enchantment Stones are actually pretty good, but uh, amount is very low. Honestly, here, one enchantment stone is very, very low amount. But you are still level 4. Okay, you're still level 4. Let's see. Level 5, you're going to get this for crafting equipment. Not bad. Okay. Then on level uh, 6, we have this. Again, but this time 2. Okay, this is getting better. Two enchantment stones. Not bad for armor. In free part, you get this. Level 7, again, two enchantment stones. Blue ones. Not bad. In free part some crafting materials free part one green enchantment stone and crafting materials Ooh, two of them for accessory not bad at level eight level nine free part nothing paid part two enchantment stones for weapons actually this is getting good now this is this is getting good a level 10 okay let's see here four four enchantment stones for armor level 11 for crafting materials level 12 lots of enchantment stones four for accessories level 13 free for weapons all the time enchantment stones will be until the end like this let's see oh this is good six six for enchantment stones for armor you know what guys this is looking very good in global version of the game honestly here level 15 six for accessories blue ones Okay, this is it, skill books. So in free part on level 16, you're getting one green skill book. This is for upgrading your passive skills. Each weapon beside active skills also have passive skills, right? You'll use these skill books to upgrade your passive skills. Here on the paid part, you get free active skill books for upgrading active skills of your weapons and free passive skill books for upgrading passive skills of your weapon. This is good. Level 17, one green for free. And eight, guys, okay, okay, definitely, I can already see now level 17. Uh, let's not make any conclusion for now, but so far, this is good. Eight enchantment stones, this is better than battle pass. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, battle pass also have its own perks. Uh, basically, battle pass is very useful also, you can get many nice things. Also, in the end, you get very nice skin for weapons. You get two skins for your weapons. You get some army toys, you can get Solent. Battle pass is also very good. But this leveling pass, 
This is now looking so good. Look at this. Uh, on free part, you get some crafting materials on level 18. And now uh, you're getting, look, four enchantment stones for weapon and 10 for accessories, level 19. Purple, purple enchantment stone. Only one, but okay. And free crafting material. Here we have only in free parts, right? This uh, passive skill, uh, skill book. Let's go further. Level 20. Oh, this is pretty nice. You also get Amitoi, right? In free part. This is free part. And 10 enchantment stones for accessories and another Amitoi. You know what, guys? Honestly, here, leveling pass is looking better than battle pass. Free uh, purple. Five uh, rare in level 21. Level 22 crafting materials. You need these blue ones. And this is also for crafting equipment. Level 23. Again, skill books. Guys, this is good. Crafting material purple. You are also all the time getting materials, right? Different kind of rewards in free part. But honestly, this paid part, this is good. One purple and nine armor enchantment stones on level 26. 25 then on 26 crafting material again at 27 one skill book and then five of these and five of these on paid part level 28 one purple 10 regarding enchantment stones like you see you're also getting enchantment stones here in the free part of the leveling log but not many and they're green but here in paid part this is looking very good on level 29, uh, precious magic powder. So I'm going to check now only paid part. Let's go faster a little bit. Uh, so uh, le uh, let's see, level 30, two uh, for a weapon, two for armor, but purple. Purple skill book, two of them for passive. Nice, 53, 53 to unlock stone. Guys, the leveling pass is better than a battle pass. This is worth, I mean, it's not better, don't get me wrong, there are different types of reward in Battle Pass, I can show you that in a second, but this is so good, look at these skill books, crafting materials, level 35, let's see further, three enchantment stones for purple ones, ten blue ones, again skill books, wow, lots of materials worthy, this is so good, wait, four again, two enchantment stones, Five skill books, five, 50 trade conversion stone. Guys, this is amazing. Again, precious. You know what? I was, not, uh, this is first time I'm now checking leveling pass for global version of the game. I can tell you, this is very good. This is so good. Again, five, five, so many, 20 enchantment stones for accessories and six for armor. At skill books, only skill books and enchantment stones are worth uh, 500 lucent. Look at this. Look at these amounts. And final reward at level 50, right? Because you cannot reach level 51. For now, uh, it doesn't exist in global version of the game. In Korea, currently level cap is 55. In global version of the game, 50. Is this 1 million? No. Wait a second. How many chests? Uh, yeah, it is 1 million Solent. 20 chests for 50,000 Solent. Ooh, weapon mastery. This is so good. You are increasing your weapon mastery with these points. And amazing. Guys, leveling pass, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Now, battle pass, like I said, it's something completely different, right? You also, I mean, not completely different. You're also getting enchantment, stones, uh, skill books, uh, potions, solant in free part and in paid part. And you can see here in the paid part, final reward, right, is uh, skins for weapons, which is really cool. And that is very nice, right? But in general, guys, in general, this is looking so good. Regarding leveling pass, you know what? Honestly here, it's same price like battle pass. I would rather buy a leveling pass then battle pass i'll probably buy both right on my uh, character which i will make on october 1st currently i'm playing here on early access server so i didn't buy neither i'm still collecting lucent i have more than 2000 lucent i'm not trying to spend i will spend my lucent in uh, right on launch servers on my character over there because don't forget battle pass and leveling pass they are character bound not account wide whatever you buy battle pass or leveling pass this is per character don't forget about that. My conclusion, absolutely yes. This is worth to buy. You're getting many rewards and this will help you a lot during your leveling process and generally regarding your progression in Throne and Liberty.
if you are interested into throne and liberty check my youtube channel I already have lots of videos covering different kind of in-game features and i'm preparing lots of guides for new players for global release of this game you will see also regarding news updates everything what you need to know from world of throne and liberty thank you for watching the video subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on twitch and see you soon with another throne and liberty video